guys, it's Coffee, and today we are doing a custom content haul slash showcase, I guess. I think we're going to call it a haul, though. I haven't done one of these in such a long time. I am so freaking excited to show you guys all of the amazing pieces that I got. Uh, yeah, this is this going to be off the chain, if you know what I'm saying. So first and foremost, I want to talk about my cast background. A lot of you guys in my streams over on Twitch, which if you're not following there, shameless plug, the link is down below. I stream The Sims and I stream three days a week. I stream other games as well, but I try to make The Sims in there at least once a week. So please make sure you're checking it out over there. But um, the background for my cast, it's pink. It's not like all the other backgrounds. I'm not like all the other backgrounds. I'm a cool background. Uh, props if you know what I'm talking about right now because you're like the best person ever if you do. Um, so the background is actually a custom mod, I guess, that I put into my game. I will link it down below for you. And if you want to know how to install custom content, make sure you check out my video from earlier this week where I showed you guys how. So that will be all listed down below for you guys as well as the video that I just talked about. Uh, secondly, I want to talk about this, how my... Uh, my uh, Watchma Doodly has four, four rows or four columns, I guess. This is the four column mod from Mod The Sims. I apologize, I don't remember the creator's name, but uh, I will link that down below for you guys as well. You'll install it the same way that you install all other CC. So make sure that you take a look at that if it's something that you think you want in your game. I think it makes it a lot more helpful when you're looking through things to have it. So just a little tip tip there. All right, first things first. We are going to go look at hair because <laughs> hair's my favorite, let's be honest. I got a few new hairstyles for you guys and I'm pretty excited to show them off. So the first hair that I am showing off is very vintage inspired. I have quite a few hairs from this person to show you guys. This is by Colors Urbanos, Urbanos, I think is how you say that. Uh, this is called Ponytail Number 3, and I do have everything I'm going to talk about today listed down below for you guys. So make sure that you check out that blow bar if you want to download any of these. Uh, it comes in a pretty good array of colors. I'm really proud of the red colors that I'm seeing because you have everywhere from a nice auburn down to a strawberry-ish color, which is super nice. And this is kind of going out of order, but I do want to show you this while I'm on this hair. This will be listed down below under the accessories. This is a little bow that you can get to accessorize with this hair, which I think is so cute. Can we just, it's in the hat section, but so cute, right? And look at it from the front, like, oh, you can kind of see it poking out. So adorable. The next hair that I have for you guys is this lovely one right here, also by Colors Ibanos, and this is gorgeous. This is the Victory Rolls 7, and it comes in the same colors as well as a couple of divided half and half colors. I think this is so cute. I am like so keen to do a vintage rockabilly him now. I just think what a cute concept and idea. I love the little cherry band back there. I don't think, oh, is that an accessory? No, I think that's actually part of the hair. Oh my goodness. Let me double check. Yeah, no, I think that's actually part of the hair. That is so cute. It's got a little hair tie right there. If you guys notice, so cute. Loving that. Uh, let's move on. Oh, I accidentally deleted her eyelashes. That's okay. That's okay, boo-boo, we bringing them back. See, bam, ba ba bam Okay, and the next hair is also by Color Zibanos, and that is this one, which is another like rockabilly style. The only thing I can say about this hair is the scalp line is a little deep right here, but if you're just using this to take photos, it's really, really easy to edit something like that out. Uh, I do have a thumbnail tutorial coming up for you guys very soon on my channel. If you're not aware, April is the month that I am doing a lot of teaching videos where I'm going to be showing you how I film, edit, things like that. And so if you're interested in that for making simming videos, etc., this is the month to sub to my channel. So, I know, another one of those shameless uh, promos right there, self-promo. But uh, yeah, there's this hair, which I love. I'm not going to sit here and go through every single color. You will have to go and experience the hair for yourself. But uh, up next, up next we have this hair, which is by Thish... Thish 
Schmin Sims. I'm not sure exactly how to say that, but this is called the Vanilla Hair 28. And I just love the way that it lays across her shoulders. I don't know that I would use this in a series necessarily just because of the way it's locked in place on the shoulders. But I definitely, again, could see myself using this for Sim photos. I love the colors that we are given with this one. I think it's extremely beautiful. And again, very vintage inspired. Vintage must be making a comeback right now, guys. And up next, I actually have a couple of Maxis hair hairs for you guys. I don't know which one is which title wise, but they will both be listed down there. These are by Enrique's for uh, or Druv or Hruv. I'm not sure exactly how to say that. There's a rose hair and an Anastasia hair. I think this one is the Anastasia hair. I'm pretty sure. Anyways, beautiful Maxis match hair. I would love to see some recolors on it though, just to get more of a range, but I think this is absolutely gorgeous and I'm loving it. So thank you so very much to them. And the second one that I was just talking about is this one. So, oh, this one has quite a bit more. Oh, I like this one. Cute. I love the back as well. You could probably get a hair pin back here. I think uh, BEO Creations actually makes... I have it. Okay, so I don't have the link for this, but BEO Creations makes this if you do want it. I've already like organized the list for down below. So if you do want that, make sure you look at BEO Creations, but you can totally stick hairpins in there. It's super cute, super adorable, especially if you're into that Maxis Match style. And last but certainly not least is this S Club hair bun. I love this. I love that there are baby doll bangs in the front, which I believe is what you refer to for these. So we got these adorable baby baby doll bangs. The color range on these, not a huge range, but the colors that you do get, I really like. So I'm definitely not displeased. I would have liked to have seen something a little more gingery, but I still, again, am adoring this. I think it's beautiful. I think the black is probably my favorite. It's just different than any other hair bun that I've seen. This one seems a little more nerdy, kind of quirky, and I really like it. Up next, we are going to be moving on to some clothing. So the first piece is this one right here. This one is by Matins. Matins, I think is how you say that. This is the Eleanor dress. I thought this dress, the reason I loved it so much was A, look at it. It's gorgeous. Look at all the colors it comes in. Huge fan. I thought that this would work really well as either a wedding dress, if you did like the whites, or it's a really good dress for maternity wear, which I mean, I feel like maternity wear with all of the crop top styles that are out there right now, it's really hard to find pieces that work well for pregnancy that don't like cut the belly in half weird. So I thought this would be a really good piece for that. And only time will tell. We'll have to wait and see. But I'm absolutely adoring it. I think it's super gorgeous. Up next is this dress from Tarab. I think is how you say that. This one is called the Libidinius. Libidinius dress. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Look at all of these colors, you guys. You get every color under the freaking sun and then some. Is this dress not one of the most gorgeous things you've ever seen? I am so impressed. Um, I hate that I'm like criticizing these pieces as I'm looking at them. The only thing I wish is that there was a white one. I would have loved to have seen a white, but other than that, I think this is an expertly done piece. I love the colors. I love everything about this. I think my favorite is probably a lot of the darker colors, like, ugh. So pretty. Up next, we have a piece by Bill Sims. This one is called the Wrapped Up Dress, and it's very self-explanatory. The dress looks extremely wrapped around the body in the way that it goes kind of crisscrossy over the bust. Absolutely beautiful. Ooh, I love that cranberry color. So pretty. Ooh, and the navy. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Up next, we have this piece. This is the Scallop Lace Strap Body by Harmonia. And the reason I picked this up is I don't know how many of you guys out there are family styled players of The Sims. I tend to play mine very much like a family. I want my Sims to go on a traditional honeymoon. You know, I send them to Granite Falls in my personal games. And I thought for a wedding night, like honeymoon lingerie, this was perfect. It's scandalous, but it's not like so scandalous that it's like too much. It's not like extra, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like a lot of the lingerie that we get from custom content is there's like 
thongs going on, which nothing against thongs if that's what you want to wear on your backside. But I like that it's complete full coverage. It's a little more innocent and still sexy and flirtatious though. And it's in all these really light, pretty sheer colors. Up next is the Eugenia dress. Um, this dress is not quite what I expected it to be in person. I think this would be fantastic for a rockabilly photo shoot though. It is definitely very vintage inspired. It flares everywhere out and it comes in a wide array of colors. This one is by Color Zibanos. Again, this is the same person that made all of those hair meshes that, well, they're not technically meshes. They're like original hairs uh, that made all of like the victory roll hairs and stuff. Huge range of colors on this dress. Absolutely beautiful. I love the classicness of it, I guess. It just seems very, very classic. And I love that. And the last piece of clothing I have for you guys are these jeans. These are the soft summer denim jeans by pink zombie cupcakes and I just love the colors that we received with them I love that they're not just flat like I know we have a pair of skinny jeans that are colorful I think they came with maybe city living i'm not sure they're like in the game one of the expansions or stuff packs but i like that these ones have this nice little rip detail on them i think they are so cute and dang look at that peach girl that boots hay but super adorable i'm absolutely in love with this i am like the colors are just so summery it's perfect Okay, so we're going to go ahead and move on to makeup next. I'm pretty excited about this because I got some pretty cute stuff. Uh, the first few items I got, actually most of the items that I got are made by Praline Sims. If you guys don't know who Praline Sims is, you're living under a rock. Praline Sims is one of the best creators in my opinion. Uh, they have stuff from Sims 3 as well as 4. I don't know if they did Sims 2. I have no idea. I wasn't really playing Sims 2 as much. I played Sims 3 probably more than any of the games. But um, a lot of the makeup that I have comes from Praline Sims. They make amazing everything. I've never downloaded something from Praline Sims and not had it be one of the best things I've ever seen. So uh, make sure you're checking out Praline Sims. Again, the links for everything will be down below. The first thing I want to talk about is... Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? This, wait, is it this one? I think it is this one. This is the Venom eyeshadow. Um, I really needed some more eyeshadows in my game just in general. And look at the range of these freaking colors. And they're so gorgeous. Like, can we just for a minute? Holy crap. So that is the Venom eyeshadow. Super beautiful. Super gorgeous. Uh, the next thing I have is, I think they are, are they lipsticks? Yeah, I think I have some lipsticks as well from Praline Sims that I want to talk about. So let's go find those. So first and foremost, we have this Code Red Lipstick in N129. Wait, no, that's not it. It's this one right here. Look at this lipstick. Look at this lipstick, girl. <laughs> Oh my gosh, dead. And I love the like realistic texture. Oh my God, that the dark colors are killing me. I adore dark lipstick. If you guys come to my Twitch streams, <laughs> shameless plug again. If you come to my Twitch streams ever, you will know my obsession with lipstick is real. That's probably like my favorite thing to accessorize in makeup with. I wear a huge range of colors on stream from blue, purple, pink. I don't own any greens. Otherwise I'd be all about it. Um, I'm a huge fan of pretty dark colored lipsticks in particular, especially the deep reds as well. Oh, so pretty. Uh, up next, we also have a Praline Sims lipstick. This is the Pirate Lipstick in one. 124. Oh my gosh. Look at the way that this one fills the lips out. Like girl. Oh my gosh. I think this might be my new favorite lipstick. This lipstick, hunty, slays me. Praline. Praline. Can we all just have a moment of silence for Praline Sims? Like, oh my gosh. Like instead of clapping your ears off because it's going to be loud. Holy crap, Praline. I think this actually might be my new favorite lipstick set, like completely. This is one of, oh, no, 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 no. This is actually one of the best <laughs> lipsticks I think I've ever seen. Holy crap. And look how many colors there are. 
Wow. Killing it, Praline. Killing it. All right. And lastly, I have a couple of eye sets I want to show you guys. These ones are from Praline Sims. These are like cat eyes, kind of, sort of. These ones are called the Fonston Fonstone eyes. Uh, they look like this. They just remind me of cat eyes. I think they're really pretty. I would love to take some really close up photos in game with these. I've been really into Sims photography lately, like just taking pictures and uh, love, 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 love. So cool. Just really different than a lot of the custom eyes that I see. So there's those. And last but certainly not least, we have the eyes that I had on. These ones are by Remius Sirium. And these are the homeostasis eyes. I'm not going to go through all of these, but I will click on quite a few. These are probably my new favorite lenses. Um, I think I have a few others. They're not showing up right now because I'm under the feminine category. But like, can we just get a round of freaking applause? Thank you so much to all of the CC cre creators that will be listed down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you thought down below. If you have any questions, please let me know. Uh, I will try to answer them. If any of the links down below are broken, there probably isn't anything I can do about it because sometimes these videos are viewed years after they go up and CC creators move remove their links all the time. So get them while it's hot, guys. Get them while you can. Save them and use them because everything I picked up today, I'm extremely impressed with. And uh, I will see you guys in a future video. Please don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I am at CoffeeYT. And uh, this is Coffee signing off. Bye, you guys.